that gives purpose to life and art is definitely one of them. I am in a creative space right now and I am feeling so alive. You know what they say, creativity sure takes courage and everyone who puts all of these kind of pieces together are people that I respect so much. And we're putting our spotlight on them today at the Art 234 Fair happening right here in Lagos. It is an art fair that is proudly, proudly supported by Echo Bank and it's happening at the Echo Bank Pan African Centre. Today, we're going to talk to some of the people who sit to create pieces like this, and you know that this is definitely no child's play. We're going to be walking around the art fair, talking to some of the people who have come to embrace art, some of the paintings, the sculptures, and a couple of other things that are in the center today. My name is Moya Sorelua. This is Enola Badmos TV. Come with me to talk to some of the creative minds. At fair right here. Yeah, she just got you. How are you doing today? I'm fine, thank you very much. And how do you feel being in this space, this creative space? Wow, I feel very excited. I feel like buying everything here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so captivating. I feel honestly, if um, I'm surprised to see this. The last time I was here, it wasn't here. Yeah, so I'm surprised. Yes, the plant because I'm a plant lover. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you're a plant mama. <laughs> For me, coming back here, I was here last week. And I'm here again, so it's been interesting. Okay, interesting. How do you think this would affect, you know, artists and creatives generally? Okay, I will say to the organizers to keep on doing this. In fact, we want it like twice a year, not a, not an annual thing. If they can make it twice a year, it will be very, very interesting. All right, thank you so much for talking to us. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Still in the business of exploring art right here at the 234 Fair, Art Fair of course. And yes, I am about to do something I have never tried before. <laughs> this is body painting. Mm -hmm. What was it called? It's um, Afrocentric body art. So it, um, it's, it's a fusion of um, lines, patterns and symbols. Yeah, so. Okay, so I'm about to try this right now. Let's hope it is good. I trust him anyways, and I can't wait to see the results. Now, this is really good. It's my first time, like I said earlier, and I it's, it's easy. It's easy as just like using water to wash it off. Yeah, just water will, will take it off. Okay, so it means that I'm good. <laughs> I didn't even ask before I went, but then I totally love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're still at the 234 Art Fair, and yes, I have an art lover right here with me. How are you doing? I'm fine. How does it feel being in this space and consuming this much art? Exciting. <laughs> it's exciting. It's beautiful. Are you a lover of art? Is it painting, drawing, sculpture? Which one? I'm actually a lover of art, but I, I wouldn't even lie. I'm not really good with the art world, but um, I don't know. I just said them just come out. Like, this is my first time here, and so far, I'm loving everything. <laughs> so which is your favorite piece so far, and what was it speaking to you? Um, I haven't found a favorite speech because uh, they're actually all good. But I think I saw, like, some few works. I think they're that side. I really, really liked. And is this something you think that we should have more done in Nigeria for the creatives? Um, yeah, I think that there are actually like a lot of people that are very, very good with the hard world. And I feel like they just need to be more, um, should I say, encouraged and put out there like for people to like see them and see their work and appreciate their work. Yeah. So would you take any of the piece home today? I wish I could. I can't. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have fun. Thank you. 